can you lose weight only using VR as exercise? The culmination of two weeks of nothing but exercise in VR leading up to this moment. So let's see how well it's worked. Oh, I know you wanted to see the end, but we're going to have to save that until later on in the video because at the end of the day, the journey is just as important as the end result. So with that, welcome my fellow Quest heads and VR nerds. Welcome to Eyes on VR. My name is Rex. I take a look at every VR game I can get my grubby little hands on, but shooters go straight to the front of the line. I take a look at gun stocks, all the while keeping you up to date with VR gaming and VR tech news. Do you think fitness through VR will become the next big thing? Let me know in the comments down below. So just before we get started with this little departure from our regularly scheduled VR content, I just want to say that this video is for everyone. Whether you go to the gym five, six times a week when they're open, whether you've never been near a gym in your life or you're just somewhere in the middle, this video is for everyone because we're all here for the same reason. You're either looking for a new way to get fit, a new way to push yourself. I know in my country, I'm still in lockdown at the moment during these times. So, you know, no gyms or anything like that. So something new, something you can do at home to keep fit is always advantageous. So we're all here for the same reason, depending on our fitness level, and that is to get more fit, get some exercise, burn some calories, and maybe even push ourselves further than we thought we could. And I will say this right now, very important, when exercising using VR, there is a trick to getting it to work most efficiently for you, and I will cover that later on in the video. So like I said before, this is a departure from the channel's regular content, but if people do enjoy it, I will keep going with stuff like this because I've wanted to do a video like this for a while because I really think that VR can help people's physical and mental health as well. Today, we'll just focus on the physical. This is what the channel voted for. I did a poll on the channel to ask what people wanted to see. People wanted to see whether you can get fit or exercise effectively with VR. So today, that's exactly what we're going to look at. Of course though, as per usual, if you enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a like. I really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. Don't forget to subscribe down below for more PC VR, Oculus Quest content, and maybe even some more VR fitness content. Okay, so I know what you're asking. How are you gonna do this, Rex? Well, what I'm gonna do is, over a two week period, I am going to use nothing but VR for exercise and for most of my physical activity. My day job is basically 90% of the day me sat on my bum. So this will be pretty conclusive to the amount of exercise and effectiveness of this. Now, what I'll do over these two weeks is I will use VR for exercise five to six times a week for a minimum of 40 minutes to the maximum of an hour once each day. Now, that does not include stretching and warming up. Now, what I'm going to do is the whole video won't be like this. I will also have some more vlog type sections where I will vlog the progress as I go along. I'll be doing a weigh-in initially, and then I'll do a weigh-in at the end of week one. I'll do a weigh-in at the end of week two as well, but I might put in a few more vlogs in the middle just to let you guys know how it's going as I go along through the two weeks. I'm not going to be using any fitness trackers while I do this. You know, you can use like a Fitbit or something if you want to. But VR has specific things as well. Like uh, for you questers, there is your why you are on SideQuest that will track your fitness, you know, your calorie burning, heart rate, stuff, stuff like that. It's got personal challenges, daily challenges. It sets you for the day. It's actually really good. Um, you can also use Oculus Move as well. Things like that it does the same thing. They're all just basically a Fitbit, but with a display with in your headset so you can see exactly what's happening but for me it's not my personal preference to use one because honestly i never really trust those things how accurate can they be but don't get me wrong if that is something that you're interested in by all means go and look for some of them because they are out there and like i say daily challenges and things it's pretty good it's pretty fun and i think for some people if you need to see that progress every time that you are exercising for motivation do not hesitate to go out and get them they exist for VR, so go ahead and check them out. Okay, so day one in the morning of, I'm gonna weigh myself, see what we're working with. And bear in mind, I'm six foot one, so it's, it's gonna be heavy, okay? Let's flip. Yeah, my trusty steed. Couldn't make up his mind there, but there you go. 19.4. We'll do it one more time just to be. Just so it's consistent. We don't want an unfair test. Oh, 
Okay, so there we are, 19-4. Uh, how do I flip this phone? Okay, so there we are, 19-4. I can't say I'm very happy with that, but never mind, that's what this is for. So we'll take that as our first weigh-in, and I'll do a weigh-in at the end of each week. I'm not going to do one every day or anything stupid like that. And we'll see how we go. So I'll see you guys in a week. Now, what games will I be using for this experiment? Well, hold your, hold your, hold your horses here, viewer. Let's, uh, let's have a stretch and a little warm up first, and then we'll talk about what games we're going to use. Because I'm telling you, you're going to ache if you don't stretch. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, I don't need to stretch. I'll be fine. It's just VR fitness, blah, blah, blah. Trust me, you will want to stretch. You will, your arms especially, and your legs will be aching like hell the day after or even just after you finish these workouts, if you're really pushing yourself, you will want to stretch. Just like any other exercise, stretching is so important for your body. It's good for safety and make sure you don't hurt yourself while you're exercising. I highly recommend that you stretch. But just to clarify, stretching is not a warm up. Stretching will just get your muscles ready to move. Doesn't mean that they are ready to instantly just go super hard on an expert level of Beat Saber or something. So stretch and then take it easy in the first game that you play for a couple of minutes, maybe five, ten minutes, just to sort of warm your body up and get things moving. Then just start really, really pushing it hard. <sighs> right, that's day one done. Uh, yes, I am wearing a hoodie, so I get more of a sweat on. Um, I just, I'm not going to do one of these every day, but uh, this is just to show you, this is the kind of condition you want to be getting in. You want to be hot, you want to be sweaty, and you want to be a bit out of breath. That is how you get your heart beating faster and get that cardiovascular exercise. My hair is a mess. Um, so I'm not going to do one every day, like I say, just this is what you're looking at getting into here. And when you do, you're doing it. When, as soon as you start sweating, and as soon as you start getting out of breath, anything that gets you out of breath is exercising your body, definitely, and helping with your cardiovascular. So keep that in mind. I am going to go and have a shower. Day one, done. Now before we get into the exercise that is going to hardcore make you sweat, I highly recommend you get a silicone cover for your headset. Now companies do them for every headset that exists and I highly recommend it, especially with all the sweat. Most VR headsets, they just have a sort of foam facial interface cover and it's gonna absorb all of that sweat. If you're sharing it, even if you rinse it, clean it, whatever, you're just probably not gonna get all of that sweat out and it's gonna to lead to bacteria problems. And believe me, I have tried it without silicone cover and it just led to my face getting spotty as all hell no matter how much I cleaned it. So I would highly recommend it. You can buy new facial interfaces from companies like VR Cover as well that come with a sort of medical grade silicone and faux leather facial attachment things. Highly recommend it. And for all you Quest heads out there, if you buy a very, very cheap, I found one for like three pounds on Amazon, cheap silicone cover for a Quest 1, you can make it fit on a Quest 2. It's not completely snug, but it will do the job if you're looking to save a little bit of money. And of course, if you already have a silicone cover, good for you, you are very good to go here, but always, every single time you are finished exercising with it, wipe it down with an anti-bag wipe. Disinfect this thing every single time. I can't stress that enough. Like I said before, I have managed to get a whole bunch of spots all over my face during the first week from not cleaning it properly and using a foam interface and not a silicone base. So do that. Clean them every single time that after you use them and don't forget to wipe your face down or rinse your face as well because all that sweat being on the silicone and faux leather Facial interfaces will clog up your pores and that will lead to uh, facial problems as well, okay? Now what games am I going to be using? So first up, I'm going to be using a game called Smash Drums. Now this is only available on the Quest, I'm afraid. You can find it on SideQuest or the App Lab as well. What an excellent game this is. It's basically a rhythm game, it's like Beat Saber but with drums. Instead of cubes coming at you, they're drums and you hit the drum on the beat. You can go through Loads of modifiers from speeding up the tracks, from easy, normal, hard, extreme mode. It is great fun as someone who's played drums for years. I absolutely love it. And also, if you're not quite into all of this sort of dubstep rave music that most rhythm games come with, don't worry about that in Smash Drums because it is all just rock and roll, baby. And some of the tracks are bad ass. Really great if you're a rock and roll fan.
I'm going to use Beat Saber, of course. It's the OG of rhythm fitness games for any VR system. And trust me, you'll see why once you start to get into it if you haven't used it before. People who have used it before, you know exactly why I recommend this. Beat Saber's great, like I say, it's just another rhythm game. Blocks come at you, you use your lightsabers, pick any colour you like, <coughs> purple, and then just hit the blocks as you go along. You can go from easy to extreme, speed up songs, slow down songs, add various modifiers as well. It's great, it keeps you moving. You, there's lots of uh, blocks coming at you that you can dodge from left to right, you have to duck under. So good on the legs as well. Trust me, if you do fit beat, that is the song for you to choose. It's the OG music pack number three, I believe. No, extras, it's extras. The extras pack that you get with the base game, so don't worry about that. Yeah, go for that. Absolutely amazing. That song will get you going. Now, also, I would highly recommend that you do the multiplayer as well. I found after a little bit, I got a bit bored of the single player and I wanted a bit more competition, but that's just me. But if you hit up the multiplayer, oh yeah, you can play against like five other people. You're just there trying to get the highest score you can. You forget about time as well quite a lot while you're doing it. So it does make the exercise in time go by a lot faster. But Beat Saber, yeah, classic, highly recommend. I'm also going to be using Pistol Whip, which you can get on every single system as well. Pistol Whip will have you moving around all over the show. It's got quite a dancey dubstep background, but you know, the songs are actually pretty good and actually have lyrics, so that's also a good start. Pistol Whip is another rhythm type game, but instead of lightsabers or drums, they give you plenty of awesome looking guns. You shoot and kill bad guys on the beat while you travel on a rail through a level. And that's about it. Just listen to the awesome tracks and get your John Wick on. Absolutely great. There's lots of blocks as well, just like with Beat Saber. So you will be dodging, moving, ducking and all of that stuff to get you moving around. And trust me, whoo, even talking about it gets me out of breath. It will definitely, it will definitely get you a sweat on, believe you me. I'm also going to take a crack at VR Workout. This is available on SideQuest for Oculus Quest users. This does everything from getting you to do press-ups to squats to burpees, everything like that. It has a rhythm game portion to it, but it is set out very much like exercising or a personal trainer. So I'm going to give that a go as well. Now, obviously the games I'm using, depending on your headset, might make a difference. But at the end of the day, I highly recommend that you use Beat Saber and Pistol Whip, but anything above that, make your own choices. You know, the Steam and PC VR, you have a lot of choices of fitness games that exist on the Steam VR store anyway. So you'll have options Questers won't have, Questers have options PC VR don't have. So, you know, mix and match as you go along. You find what works for you. You find a game where you get a sweat on, go for it, use that. Put it up a difficulty level and use that. Like I say, these are just what I'm gonna use. This is my preference, your preference, do whatever you like. Morning. So it's the end of week one and we're about to do a weigh in and see one if this is actually working and two if it is working how well is it working. So let's have a look. Turn it. The trusty scales. Let's have a look. Ooh. Yes we like that. Let's do it one more time. We're like a fair test. Excellent. Put that back around. Okay, so for my calculations, that's actually a couple pounds down. So that's great. <laughs> that's great. Um, this next week, then week two, will be to see whether this is consistent or whether it's just my body going, wow, we're finally doing some proper exercise again. Um, will shed pounds real fast because you do kind of get that when you first start exercising they start to lose the pounds quite quickly so you lose a lot of water weight and things like that so this second week will determine whether this continues on and just how effective it really is so i will see you at the end of week two so what I'm going to do each day with these games is I'm just going to mix it up. You know, I might start one day where I'll just play smash drums for a little warm up quickly and then put it all the way up to extreme mode and use that to get my exercise going. Then switch to Beat Saber and play some multiplayer on there and then switch to Pistol Whip and then VR workout after that. Or I might start with a nice warm up with just an easy track on Beat Saber to get me pumped up and then switch to smash drums on a harder difficulty or then work VR workout and then pistol whip. You know, mix and match as you go along. The way I'm doing this is not indicative to results at the end of the day. Use them all or don't use them all in one time. 
it doesn't really matter. The point is to get your heart rate up, to get you sweating, to get you moving. That is what you need to do to get results. Okay, so it's time to talk about the trick that I spoke about earlier. So the trick to this is the effort that you put into it. At the end of the day, you can play Beat Saber like this. Or you can play it like this. And there's a massive difference in the amount of calories you're going to burn, how much you're going to metabolize while you are doing this. If you were just sat down and you're just not doing anything, it's not going to get you anywhere. You need to be stood up using a full range of motions while you are playing these games. If you have to duck under something, don't just duck, turn that into a proper squat. If you have to lean to the side to avoid a wall, turn that into a lunge. It makes all the difference of how much effort you give to how much you're gonna get back. Like I say, you could play smash drums like this. Or you could play smash drums like this. That is going to make all the difference and it's going to make major calorie differences as well. It would be the same if you went to a treadmill and you walked for half an hour than if you jogged for half an hour. The effort makes all the difference. What you put in, you're going to get out of it. That is the trick to this. That is what will make this work for you. So just pay attention to that. You'll soon be on your way. Uh, okay. Um, so we're halfway through week two now, um, and I'm feeling good, feeling good. You know, uh, I have noticed that I have a bit more energy lately. Uh, it seems to really get me sort of fired up and pumped up for the day. I have to admit, I feel a lot less lethargic in general, which is quite nice. So, uh, so far I highly recommend doing this. I'm knackered, <laughs> but you know, it's good. It's good. I'm feeling good. So, um, like I say, we're halfway through week two, so we've got a few days left till the final weigh-in, and I will see you there. Now, anyone that knows anything about fitness at all is going to be saying to themselves, well, you've not talked about your diet or your food. A lot of it has to do with what you're eating. Yes, absolutely correct. Can't argue with you there. But what I'm going to do for this, as it's just a test, just an experiment, is I'm going to keep my diet pretty much exactly the same. That's the only fair mm. test I can think of where we'll see whether this has any effect or not. At the end of the day, I'm not putting on weight drastically or anything like that with the diet I have. So introducing a lot more exercise into my daily routine of basically zero exercise is going to show whether this makes a difference and how much it does. But this is an experiment. It's all about being a fair test and drastic changes to my diet all of a sudden is not gonna conclude whether it's just VR helping me lose weight or whether it is just cutting a lot of calories out of my diet. So like I say, to keep it fair, no change in diets. Well, I suppose everything's said and done now. So the only thing left to do is to take a look at the final weigh-in. So here we go. Morning. So this is it. It is the end of week two. It's time to see whether this has worked and how well it has worked. So let's swap it in camera. This is it. To the culmination of two weeks of nothing but exercise in VR leading up to this moment. So let's see how well it's worked. Yes. Yes, excellent, okay. Let's one more time, one more time. We like a fair test. Oh, I can't find my feet because I'm looking through my phone. There we go. Boom. 18, 11, folks. What? Oh God, that angle was terrible. Um, I'm very happy with that. Um, I'll hand this over to a better looking video rather than keep it blogged like this, but uh, vlogged, sorry. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. That shows VR isn't just for gaming. It has other attributes and uses as well for people's health, which was the point of this video. So yeah, that's great. That's great. Uh, yeah, I'll hand it back to future me. Um, yeah, take it away, future Rex. And the results are in. It looks like, yeah, it, it works. It does work, it absolutely works. I think a lot of that has to do with the amount of time per day that I was exercising. I found personally 
maybe after about 20 minutes or so, after a warm up and getting things going, that's when I really started to sweat and feel sort of out of breath and a bit knackered as I went along and pushing that for another 20 minutes to another 30 minutes to make up an hour per day, that really did push it beyond what I thought I would have done. And to be honest, I also thought many times that I was uh, done with it. And it was only halfway through the time I allotted for the exercise and I had to keep pushing through. I found a week two, like I said, I felt a lot better, like a lot less lethargic. And I have to say I could exercise a lot easier. I could push through that first half an hour, 45 minutes or whatever, a lot easier than I could before as I was starting to get used to it. And I think also, you know, my body is starting to just kind of pick up speed, if you will. And it makes a lot of difference. And as you can see, I basically lost like four ish pounds in two weeks. I mean, that's a lot. That is a lot and really crazy. Don't know whether that is just because of it's the initial shock to my body going woohoo exercise or not. But you know, the conclusion here is very simple that this does work. VR isn't just a great way, a great way to play games. It's great for your physical health as well. There are even studies out there showing it's good for your mental health as well. I might look into that as well as we go further down the line. But yeah, this works. Can you lose weight only using VR as exercise? Yes. Yes, you can. And I highly recommend that you do so, especially if you're sort of housebound at the moment because you can't go anywhere because nowhere's open, because everything's closed, you're in lockdown. This is a great way for you to get fit while having fun. That's what made the difference for me is that instead of slogging my way to a gym to just listen to music while I do things, I was engaged, I was doing stuff, it was fun, I was having a great time. That made a lot of the difference for me and kept me interested more than anything else. I personally think that if people do things this way when it comes to exercise, it will keep them engaged a lot more. People who are prone to giving up after the first month or so might carry on way further down with all these games that are coming out that you can use for fitness, all of the free stuff out there you can use for fitness. I think this is going to become a real legit way for people to lose weight who find it more difficult to go to a gym or a bit more insecure about going to a gym. You can do this at home, privacy of your own home, and push it as hard and as fast as you want to. Well, that's it for this week. I think this has been quite an interesting departure from our normal VR content on the channel. The poll was very clear on what people wanted to see. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm absolutely shattered. So thanks very much for that. But I have lost some weight. So thank you very much for that. Now I will be going back to our regularly scheduled program next week where I've got a fantastic in-depth review coming for you. That's going to be something interesting for everybody. <sighs> Yeah, I don't really know what more to say, really. I think we're going to go have a sit down and relax. Um, apart from that, this Eyes on VR. I have been Rex. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. I really appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. Don't forget to subscribe down below. That's it. And I'll see you all next time. <laughs>